lucky if you actually live the life that I live, you guys will see in a different perspective of how things really are. You guys see drive-bys, shootings, you know, see them on TV, you guys hear about them, Channel 7, Channel 6, but it's actually different how it is, what we live and stuff. We walk through the streets, we gotta be careful. We, we gotta be smart. I lost a friend who died of age 13. And then I lost another friend to when I was 14, he got shot. At age 15, one of my other friends that were in the same gang, he was working with Team Child to change the point of his life. A couple of days later, he, he ends up getting shot by a rival gang. You know, he got, he got shot. That was the hardest one for me. I think it's the story of so many kids in his community. I mean, he's just one of hundreds, if not thousands of kids who grew up in a very poor neighborhood with Spanish-speaking parents who worked really hard, who weren't home very often because they were working so hard they had other kids to support. And he got caught up in the, with the wrong associations. I thought I was the top of the world, how could I say? I thought I had everything, you know, girls, drugs, everything. Started getting bad grades, started wearing different clothes. I started doing drugs, started being, a, I can't explain it, a bad person. When I first met Lisa, I met her in Echo Glen. It's a jail for kids. And Lisa, she talked to me and told me that she wanted me to get back into school. As a teen child attorney, Lisa represented Zawul for four years. Team Child provides civil legal aid to Zawul and thousands of youth like him. Team Child attorneys help children get back into school, find safe and stable housing, get health care and mental health services, and access other public support. Representation they are able to provide because of funding from the Campaign for Equal Justice. I saw that job court was open and I went back to Lisa. I was like, can you please try to get me back into school? I think if he hadn't had an advocate, he wouldn't be in job court because they didn't want him. They said no, because he had a record. Lisa, she went in there patrolling, marching in. Tough lady. I had to literally go to the job court office and he said, that guy's not very happy because he says that he knows that you're coming and he thinks maybe we don't need to have that meeting. And I said, no, we're gonna have that meeting. I honestly think if he and I hadn't done that together, he probably unfortunately wouldn't be in job court. I got back into school. I had to prove to the principal and to Lisa what I was trying to do. And the first semester, our pure A's principal actually he thanked me. He said that I was doing a good job. My plans for job for is I already got my goal accomplished, my GED. I did it with between three weeks. Now I need to get my certification. I'm 30% in auto mechanics. I'm trying to do advanced training for diesel. I'm trying to go to the army for a uh, aero engineer where you fix helicopters. So I have auto mechanics and heli fixing helicopters. If I wouldn't have met Lisa, I don't know, I would have been lost. I would have been some person so different. I would have been dead, I think. I want to thank you, Lisa, for everything you've done for me, for making me the person I am today. I thought I wasn't going to be nothing in life, but my dad always told me to be a good man, and you made me that good man. And I want to thank you a lot from the bottom of my heart.